What is up, our gang? Well, we love smelling good over here. What is good, our fam? Welcome back to the channel, girl. Look, your girl's been sick. So ignore my little voice because I sound like a man a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to be doing a declutter today. So I showed you guys my perfume collection. Now with me doing that, I already kind of have decluttered some items or perfumes that I no longer wear. I've outgrown. I may still like them, but I just don't wear them. And my motto is if I haven't worn it in a year, more than likely, I'm not going to wear it, okay? So, um, I'm going to be giving these to a woman's shelter. And trademark TM2222. Shout out to you, girl. I love interacting with you guys because you give me such beautiful, beautiful ideas. And she gave me this idea today to a woman's shelter. So, that's what I'm going to do. Some of these things I was going to do in a project, use it up. But I'm like, why force myself to use something that I really don't want to use. So, because I believe in having a 100% collection of what I love. That's why I'm so iffy on my purchases. And I can't even really call my channel a review channel because I don't buy everything to review. I just buy what I like. <laughs> it's good for me. I just like to tell y'all about it. I really have a lifestyle channel, but I love talking about perfume. You guys seem to love hearing about perfume. So that's what I'm talking about at the moment. So let's, if you're interested in that, girl, because we love smelling good over here. Okay. And the family. So let's get into the video. Okay. So the first on my list to declutter is my Elizabeth Arden's Red Door. Now, I have to say, every time I wear this, I get mad compliments. Mad compliments. This smells really, really good. I have the lotion to match as well as the perfume. But yeah, I just don't wear it. I haven't worn this in over a year. I haven't even worn it because I've got so much new stuff. And right now, I feel like I'm into gourmands. I just like sweet, sweet perfumes. This is sweet smelling and it's beautiful, but I've outgrown it. So this is going to be the first thing that I'm going to donate. Uh, this is Red Door by Elizabeth Arden. And next up is this perfume by Southern Living, and it's called 1966. Y'all, this perfume right here, it is really, really pretty. I had like two or three bottles of this, and this is the only one that I have left. And it's got a nice dent in it. Because before I started collecting, I was wearing this all the time. It's an easy reach, easy grab, but once I started collecting, this is not like not longer my scent profile i'm just not wearing it and it is so pretty and it's expensive perfume i got it on dealer's clearance maybe 30 dollars. so this is a nice expensive perfume that somebody will definitely enjoy it's definitely beautiful i just don't wear it anymore this next one girl i have not ever worn this and when i got it i love it I still love the way it smells and it might be good in the winter but for me mm -mm. and that's Oud Vanille by Frank Oliver I love it I love it but I've never worn it it's it's a little bit too masculine for me I might need to see if my husband want to wear it but um it leans too masculine for me I may see if my husband wants to wear this if he doesn't wear it, I'm going to donate it. If he doesn't want it, I'll donate it most definitely. But this is Oud Vanille and it's by Frank Oliver. I think once I wore it, I tested it one day. It just seemed like too strong, too masculine for me. And I may have gotten a slight headache from it. If it gives me a headache, I can't do it. Okay? We ain't going to even try that. I can't remember, but I've never worn it in a whole year. So I'm getting rid of it. I did have a nice little dent in it, though. Can you see? I have a little dent in there. This is not one that fits my scent profile anymore. It's not for me. Next up, this was in my last declutter, you guys. And this was a Michael Kors Sparkling Blush. And I had read on Ferjanica where somebody had mixed it with something and it gave Donna Born Aroma. But I have Donna Born Aroma. I have actually two testers of it. 
I don't wear this. So this is a pretty perfume. Another one I got on sale at Belk's. Oh, no, I got on sale at Dillard's for their um, annual sale. Look at that bottle. I love this bottle. And I don't wear it. I do have a little ding hair, but I hardly wear this ever anymore. My scent profile has changed. I no longer wear this. So I'm going to give it to somebody who would really appreciate it and enjoy it. Next up, you guys, I absolutely adore this Senorina. Senorina. And this is by Salvatore Ferragamo. It smells so rich. I just gotta put a little bit on. I gotta put a little bit on. I just don't wear it anymore. I don't wear it. It's beautiful, but like I said, my scent profile has changed. And it's no longer in there. So this one will be donated as well. This next one, I'm still on the fence about because I don't really have anything in this scent for profile. And this is Escada's Flor de Sol. I do have a nice little dent in there because it's a fruity floral. It's okay. It's okay. But it's just, I'm not gravitating to it. And I lost the top to it. I can't find the top. It's in here somewhere. But um, that kind of bugs me too that I don't have a top to it. And I don't want it anymore. But that's crazy. But my main reason is I just don't wear it. I love the cherry in Japan. Love Escada cherry in Japan. I wear that all the time. But this one, and it's nice. I just don't, I just don't gravitate to it. So I feel like somebody else will really, really, really like this a little bit better. So I think I'm going to donate it. So I don't know what possessed me to buy this. It's called Cheap and Chic, Cheap and Chic Machino Stars. Why did I buy this? Because it smells cheap. It smells cheap to me. Okay? I don't care for it. I've never worn this. <laughs> I have never worn this. So, I, I love the bottle, though. I think I was looking at the bottle. I don't know if I didn't do a review on this one. But, yeah. I ain't feeling this at all. Never waste your money on this. Because it smells cheap. When it says cheap and chic, that's what it means. Cheap and chic. That's just it. Um, it's not chic. It's cheap. So, yep. I'm getting rid of her. Next up, you guys. I did this one in my inexpensive layering routine when I went to Walmart. Y'all know I bought that perfume. Um, this is by Justice. This is really for little girls. It's really supposed to be for small young girls. I think I'm going to give this one to my niece. Uh, I have a small niece, so maybe she wants this. I don't know, but it's just a lavender and vanilla perfume, but it's not my scent profile at all. It worked perfect for the layering. It worked really well for the layering, but yeah, I don't, it's, it's more or less for a little girl, so I'm going to go ahead and donate this. It worked perfect for my routine, but I'm not going to wear it. I have to be realistic with myself, and I need that space for other perfumes. And so, last but not least, is my Jovan White Musk. Y'all see the dent? I have been wearing this one quite a bit. But I just don't wear it anymore. I just don't wear it anymore. When I hear people say that their noses has changed, or they've kind of outgrown scents, I get it. The more you smell different perfumes, the more you try different things, your nose is going to change. And what used to smell good to you, it's just not going to smell good anymore. And it's not that this one doesn't smell good to me, but it's just not. I have so much other stuff now that I could wear that this is not a priority. Let me put it that way. So this one is going to be decluttered as well. So we have reached the end of my video, you guys. Like I said, shout out to Trademark, uh, TM2222. Girl, I, your comment really touched me. And I'm definitely going to make this donation to the women's shelter. And I just think that's so beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure you subscribe and your notifications bell is on. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.